my first tutorial on Blender. And today we're going to make a nameplate. It looks just like this. I know it's not exciting, but this is kind of an intro video so that you can find out where all the things are. Well, not all of them, just a few. And it's not that hard. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the shape. Okay. So I, there's a shortcut for this, but I want you to see where it is. It's right here. There's a little white arrow. I click on it and we want to change the dimensions of this block. So I'm going to change this to, let's say 20. I'm going to hit enter. Now it seems big, right? <clears throat> That's because we're really focused on something small. This right here is going to be 100 and I hit enter. Now I'm zooming out with my uh, click wheel. That's how you zoom in and out. Okay. Pretty easy. And the height, I'm going to make that three and then enter. There it is. Now something you don't have to do, but if you're 3d printing, it kind of does matter where you're starting. So right here, it's just in between the printing bed, not the printing bed, the workspace. And to get it to, to be right on top, I'm going to take half of its dimension. So it's going to be at the Z dimension, 1.5, 1.5. And there it is. Now it's sitting on top. Again, you don't have to do this, but for 3D printing, it's good to know where the base is going to be, the very bottom of your work. Okay, so now we want to create a hole right here. Now to do that, we need to add another shape. But here, when we add, these shapes are called meshes. So that's what we're going to add. We're going to add a cylinder. There it is. Now, it's really tiny. And that's okay, because we're just going to you know press a few buttons. But before we do, we're going to change how many sides or vertices the cylinder has around it. And we change that to 64. Okay, great. Now we have the cylinder selected, right? And here you can select the different things in your, in your space, but we're selecting the cylinder. We're going to change the dimensions. We're going to change all of these to 15 and 15. And there it is. Now I'm going to move it. I could use this, but it's kind of clunky when you're trying to just move it all the way across. So I'm going to click on this over here. Now, every one of these has a letter. If you just stay there longer, it has a shortcut. The letter is G for this one. I'm just going to click on this and then drag it. And see how I clicked the, the green one because it was going in that direction. Now I'm going to move around just to look at it. All right. Looks good. No issues. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to create a hole right there. So I'm going to select the block and now I'm going to look at these tools over here. And the one I want is, looks like a wrench and I want to modify this block. So it's a modifier. And here it is. I've heard this said Boolean, Boolean. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it just yet, but I'm sure I'll fix it eventually. I'll figure it out. So I'm going to click on that. Now look at the steps. Okay. This is very important. You want the difference. That means you're going to be subtracting that cylinder from the object that you have, which is the block. And you want to subtract the cylinder. See, it's kind of like math almost. Now we look over here and you can see that it's been subtracted. However, this is just for you to preview and say, yeah, I like the way it looks. This is exactly what I want. Now, before it's permanent, you have to click on the little arrow and hit apply. And there you go. You now have a hole right there, but you're like, wait, how is that a hole? It's still there. I know, trust me. What you have to do is actually delete it. So I'm gonna click over here and hit the delete button. And there it is. We've created a hole. Congrats. First major milestone in Blender. Awesome. Now we're going to add some text. So I'm going to add, but there is no mesh for text. What I have to do is add text and there it is. It's really tiny. So I'm going to change the dimensions. Let's see. Uh, the dimensions are going to be, I believe, uh, I usually have this at 80. Whoa. I know weird and 40 looks too big. That's okay. I'm kind of doing this on purpose. And right now we cannot actually change the height because it's not a three dimensional piece yet. So I can put 20 on there, but it nothing really changes. I'm going to rotate this. Now you could use a rotate tool, 
but I want this to be precise. I want it to be 90 degrees on the Z. So I'm going to go to rotate or rotation, click on there and 90. There it is. Now this thing is huge. Now, if I wanted to move it right now, that's all I had to do, right? However, I also want to move it down. So I'm going to click on the red arrow, but it's obviously too big. So I'm going to use the scale. Now I could change the dimensions, but in this particular instant instance, it's a lot easier to just use the scale tool. So let's do that. All right. That's pretty good. Now, honestly, it's not going to, all this stuff that I'm doing right now is not going to matter because we need to change the text. So to do that, we're going to go up here where it says object mode. You want to go to edit mode. And right here, this is the cursor. I'm going to hit the backspace or delete. There it goes. And I'm going to put my last name, Amparo. Did I spell that right? Now here's what I'm going to do. I want to see what's over here. So I'm going to hit the shift button and press down the scroll wheel. Yeah, it looks like I spelled it right. Okay, so that was the shift button and the scroll wheel. I pressed them both at the same time. Actually, I hit shift like a few seconds before. Okay, so I can't really see this. So what do I do? I'm going to go back to object mode. <clears throat> there it is. Amazing. I know. <clears throat> I want this thing to actually be on top. It really doesn't matter, but for me, I want to be able to move it. So I'm going to move this. The location is going to be up. Um, let's say three because we wanted to be on top of this thing. Is that right? Yep. Three is right there. Okay. So now you can see, oops, now you can see that it doesn't fit. So I want to scale this thing. Luckily we already have, we're already on the scale option. So I wanted to shrink in this direction and also in this direction. Now you can see the P's there. So I'm going to move this so I can see it better. Oh yeah. I need to shrink it a little bit more. So again, in the red direction, luckily it coordinates with these lines over here, X and Y. And I think we're good. I just need to move it up and oh, made the mistake. I thought I was just going to move it. I'm going to hit uh, control Z because I did something there. I thought I could just move it with my mouse, but no, I got to remember. It's this direction or this direction I got to use. Now there are other ways of moving this. I'm just showing you one way because I don't want you to be overwhelmed <clears throat> with all your options. Now I'm also going to hit the shift button and the click wheel so I can see this better. All right, good. Um, I'm going to make this just a little, oh wait, uh, scale just a little bit less. Now, obviously your name's going to be different unless my wife is watching this and her last name is my last name but I don't think she is. I think she would just have me make stuff for her and, you know, not really learn Blender. That's pretty sad. So we're good. We have our name there. Makes sense. Now we got to convert this to a mesh. That way we can start making it 3D. <clears throat> now this gets a little tricky. I know because it's tricked me like six times already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to object and convert to a mesh. That's it. <clears throat> but it's not 3D yet. It, ha it hasn't, it doesn't have any, you know, thickness or anything. So we need to do that. We need to convert to edit mode and I'm going to click the letter A. Did it work this time? I don't think so. Usually when I click the letter A, it, uh, there it is. It highlighted it in orange. Whew. I'm not sure why that didn't happen, but I'm glad it did. Now that the, the name is selected, we're going to click on this one right here. This is called the extrude region. I'm going to click on that. And this right here is where I'm going to make it go up. Now, if you look carefully, it's moving up right here. This number right here is going up, right? That's because it's going in the Z direction. Well, what I want to do is actually just go up two. Let's go to and enter. And there you go. We have done it. We're done. This is it. This is our project. Now, here's something you need to know. When you're done, you want to hit file, export as an STL, and then save it where you're going to save it. <clears throat> now, 
For those of you that want to learn this program, here's what I recommend. I'm going to recommend that you try to do this all on your own without my tutorial. Obviously, you're not going to get very far because it's the first time you've seen this. However, go as far as you can. And then when you get stuck, go back to my tutorial. I'm going to have in the, in the description of this video, the different places where you can start whether it's you know changing the block, creating the hole, adding the text. I'm going to have all of those uh, things lined up or uh, linkable so you can click on the time and it'll take you directly there. Now, it took me about six times making this so, uh, until I memorized the steps. Now I can do it with no problem. But if you get stuck, just go to the video, go to that spot, and then try it again from scratch. The goal is for you to get comfortable and just make this right here. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to change. Otherwise, have a great day.